Concept has just launched a range of camper trailers, a complete first for this company. There's the rear fold RX1 and the forward fold FX2, which we hitched up for an overnighter down the coast. And straight away we found that setting up this camper, especially for quick stops, is really not that difficult. There's a winch at the front and the back of the FX2 to help you open the lid and to bring it down safely to rest on a galvanised steel base. It feels a little strange sometimes To know that's something that I can't change Close my eyes and I'm there again Things exactly like they were back then Do your hands reach out for me Exactly how it was supposed to be See a lifetime fade away Watch it all just fade away Outside, the FX2 has a large forward slide out for a portable fridge. There's an offside storage compartment next to the 12 volt control panel and onboard battery. And there's more storage on the near side. Now every camper trailer worth its salt just has to have a slide out kitchen. Check this one out. Now I don't know about you, but I can certainly see myself cooking on this. You've got a three burner stove, sink, and a bit of storage there. And just over there, next to the kitchen, you've got some 12 volt sockets. 420 GSM canvas is used for the tent, and up front you've got the main bed, while the dining area can convert to a second bed if necessary. Underneath, the FX2 has a well protected 60 litre water tank, and there's independent coil suspension with dual shock absorbers. So there you go, that's the Concept FX2 forward fold camper. Now considering that Concept has never dabbled in camper trailers before, I do think they've done a pretty good job here and we've had a great time with it. To be honest, there are a few areas that can be refined, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this camper trailer performs. It's reasonably easy to set up and there's heaps of storage in particular. One other thing about this camper is that it seems to tow extremely well. It's been completely and utterly sure-footed behind my 80 series, both on the highway at 100 to 110 kilometers an hour and on these gravel four-wheel drive tracks. It's done extremely well, very happy with that. But you know, there's really only one thing left to do and that's just to get out of here. Had a great time with this camper, but it's time to hit the road.